Hi everybody, welcome back to Scrappy Adam and welcome to day 8 of 30 Days of Sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life and Dotty About Flare Prompts and I am combining this with Stash Dive Tuesday the series created by myself and the lovely Rebecca Lockhart Scraps aka Becky and a bunch of friends have joined us for that there is also a bunch of people playing along with 30 Days of Sketches that's the plan today and this is today's sketch it's a lovely one with two photos here. This is from Susanna Lee, the lovely Susanna. I love her sketches. So we've got these strips of paper, two photos and then a row of embellishment and a title down here. So I'm following it quite closely really and I plan on having a row of embellishments. I won't be using hearts, I'll be using florals and die cuts. So for Stash Dive Tuesday I am bending the rules slightly insofar as I have stash dived into a collection. So this is a collection, it's brand new, um, I got it a couple of weeks ago but I want to try and use a collection as soon as it comes in, that's the goal. So I am still stash diving but it's not something that's been in my stash for a very long time, I'm simply using something new. So. Yes, bending the rules slightly, but there we go. We One has to uh, combine when it's a video a day. So that's the plan. I have stuck to the Dossie About Flare prompt and used scraps of paper. These were all 12 by 12s that I had cut pieces off. So in my eye, that means it is a scrap. And I've torn the edges on these and I've had a play around and I think we're going to go something like that. I wanted to pull in as many of the colours in this collection as I could so that I could then use a lot of the embellishments. That's the plan. So I'm going to get these stuck down and then I will be right back with you to put this layout together. So now we've got all those strips on and it's kind of level. It does come up a little bit there but that's totally fine because it's the torn look that we have. And I like that we've got two of the same and then all different. This is the reverse of that one and it all works really well. So now I'm going to use some of these ephemera pieces, then we're going to have a title here, maybe something here and that's going to be it. Now I did want to use a flare from Dotty about flare on each of my 30 days. I'm not sure if today is going to be one, we'll see. See how it goes. Okay now I do have some ephemera popped out already with a view to using it. Some of it goes, some of it doesn't like a kite, but I kind, I kind of like the randomness of it sometimes. Okay, so we're going to pop this here, like so. So we are going to come off the page, and I know that I want to use these two big floral pieces. This is from the floral bits pieces. So there's three ephemera packs in the full bloom. Bits and pieces, journal bits and floral bits. I'm liking that they're doing this because they've done it with the Boho Baby collection and the rainbow bits. And I am a big fan. Okay, so then let's cut these off. Just needs to trim that a bit. There we go. side. I love taking embellishments off the page, it extends your page and brings the page together I think. Okay, so we've got two anchors either side. We've got this wheelbarrow of flowers again, doesn't really have much to do with it but that's okay. Okay, then we've got a couple of tickets. I'm just going to go for this, okay? So we're going to get this stuck down. So, in fact, I wonder if this would go there. Now, this is a picture of Elena. If you've been around here for any length of time, you'll know that that's Chris's mum. And this is a spring photo last year, I believe. So I wasn't here, but Chris 
sent me a couple of spring photos because I knew I wanted to use this collection a lot. Okay. So we're just building up a little bit there. I'm going to add a bit of adhesive there. So I love that little cluster there. And I am going to bring it across the page to give it a bit more there. I do apologise if you can hear any noise. We are still having the windows done. And they are here at the moment. But it's life right now, so... Okay, so then if we put that there... I did think about these little signs might go. I'm going to pop that one there. I know these are designed... They're like your garden things, aren't they, for when you're growing stuff. Oh no, that's stuck there. Okay. Okay, and then let's pop. Let's pop one behind there as well. Now I do have this, these die cuts that say Bloom that I thought we might pop on. Or I'll use the foam stickers to create our title down here. Okay. So I'm going to stick this on, I think. I won't journal on it, but Chris might want to. So let's pop that there. I do quite like the idea of this kite. Which may seem a bit weird, but that's fine. It's just a fun element to go along with the photos. Okay, and then we have got a couple of pieces here that I want to get in. Some of these florals. Okay. I'm going to pop this one there. I really like this red one. So I'm going to sort of layer that, I think. Because the sort of placards, these things are not, they're not for journaling as such. They're more for decoration. So layer that one there. Okay. So we do have other things. We've got a couple of bees, but want to see if there is anything else that we want to, want to add first. So we've got the sticker book. We've got this lovely bucket of flowers. I'm going to pop that there. And this little floral cluster that will go nicely there. Do have a couple of bees that I want to get on. Okay. And I did think about something up here. Maybe using a floral element as our base. Let's use this one. I have just ripped that, but we should get away with it. So that's going to go there. I love this rainbow. I'm not sure we would get that in on this page. No. Pop that up back up there. Got a fun little tab there. So we won't need much more really on here. Thinking we could have a phrase up there. Oh, so lovely. Yeah. We'll rip that a bit now as well. Okay, so that can then go there. Let's have this little bee coming from up there. Okay. We've got an alpha in this sticker book, which is good. Trying to, we need something for here, really. I wonder if... I 
We might get one of these on. I'm going to pop that there. Not sure it fits, but it's too late now. Okay. This floral camera would work. That could sort of go there. And potentially another floral piece. I love these sort of clustered floral stickers. It makes it so easy for you to embellish your pages. I love that. Okay. <clears throat> now I'm just going to see if we've got... Oh, we've got a sheet of florals. Okay, so we don't have... I thought there might have been like a border. But I'm not sure there is there. Um... We do have another kite there. Okay, so let's look at our title because we're pretty much done. I wondered if smile would work. Yeah. See, so we could have happy smile. So I'm going to pop this right down at the bottom there. And let's see. Yeah, let's do that. Happy smile. And I'm just going to add in a couple of these foam flowers and bees. It's just going to give us a bit more of the different textures on the page. So I'm just diving in, stash diving into the collection. Completely breaking the rules of Stash Dive Tuesday, but I will be back properly next week. I promise. Okay. Um, I love, I just love this collection, which really surprises me actually. Okay, we've got a little bee brad. Pop that there. Hello spring, little brad there. Little ladybird. Okay, I think, I think I'm near to the point where we'll say this is done. I don't think we need much more. Okay. So I'm just going to dot a couple of enamel dots about. Like so. Here. Oh, that one's not stuck. That one's not sticky. Okay. And then let's pop a couple up here just to bring that red across the page along with the orange. I love enamel bots. And then we have, have I just seen, <sighs> guys, honestly, there's no hate for me. Didn't see these before, but I don't think we need them now. I think I'm going to call it done, guys. I really like it, actually. It's very busy here. Probably didn't need all of it, but I really like it. And I like it when I do this, and I've got all the different textures. The foam, the metal, the epoxy, the enamel. Really good. So this was Stash Dive Tuesday and day 8 of 30 days of sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life. The prompt from Dotty about Flair being scraps, which is where I got these from. I didn't get this one from it, but all the others did. And that is going to do it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. 
I will be back tomorrow with day 9 and in the meantime check out the description box down below where you'll find the list of everybody playing along with Stash Dive Tuesday along with the long list of 30 days of sketches. Bye for now.